Welcome to Bun Mash Theater. My name is Heather, and this is going to be yet another episode of 2064 Read Only Memories. Uh, so I just started this interaction with um, Nanya here. Uh, I had a little microphone issue that I had to correct, so uh, we'll just pick it up right here and see what he's got to say about these uh, brain implants he's been doing. Um, we're in a different kind of business. We're in a bad situation. Local news articles are being mysteriously altered after they've been posted yep. to the mesh, even while the originals are still online. Yeah, it's quite an issue, really. The Novas are being manipulated as well, and he pointed us in your direction. Yep. It didn't start happening until after he had his implant upgraded. Uh-huh. Um, have you had any issues with the human revolution? What are you, cops? No, worse. You're journalists. Uh, what? Get the hell out of my shop! I have a business to run. I don't have time to answer shit about shit that don't got shit to do with me. Okay, guy. You found the door before? Find it again. And tell Charlie he can get someone else to do him a rush job when he's back on stims and needs a workaround. He ain't welcome around here anymore. Well, dang. Give us a moment, please. I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired of being given the runaround by these meat bags. Yeah. We could just find some bribe or blackmail to get what we want from this Nanya. But I think it's time to take matters into our own hands. Yeah. I have an idea. Keep <clears throat> them occupied for a few minutes. Okay. Just how, do how should I do that? Do and ask questions. Okay. Nothing about the blog post, though. We don't want to set him off. Just keep him talking. Right. Right. It'll Got only it. only take a minute. Yep. Are you going to get going, or am I going to have to call someone to make you get going? I think we got Damn off on the wrong straight. foot, Nanya. Now get out of here! Listen, we don't think you had anything to do with manipulating Charlie's stories. I didn't. I know. We were just hoping to get some more background information on the kind of implant he has so we can follow other leads. That's all. That's all. Shit. Fine. Whatever. I'll tell you what you want. Within reason. Great. Doctor patient confidentiality and all that? Yeah, I understand. Just promise me it'll get you the hell out of my shop a little sooner. It it will definitely do that. Deal. Yep. Sorry for this. Our circumstances have gotten serious. We're following anything we can all the way to the end. That's for sure. There's no way to hack a VR implant like Charlie's. No way, huh? I mean, you can definitely install hostile firmware on one, but you okay. can't just load whatever program you want without the user's knowledge. Gotcha. Any changes to the loaded firmware will trigger some really obvious visual indicators to let you know something's being changed, and those are put in on the hardware level. Okay, okay. I've never heard of anyone being able to circumvent them. The only person who could have loaded hostile firmware on there is me. And you wouldn't have done it. And don't try and go there. I nope. get paid too much to risk my reputation over changing a few blog posts. I got it, I got it, I know, I know. What about Makes using sense. the mesh to mess with the implant? Is there some way to change the input remotely? No, the implant itself doesn't have any kind of wireless connection. You have to use a headset with an induction coil for I.O. Wireless just doesn't have the bandwidth for it. Okay. You might be able to try infecting a ROM with some virus that screws with the I.O., but you only use a connection to a ROM for AR hugs. They can't handle full simulation. Okay. You'd so... need a full rig and a hardline connection to the net to do that. Well then. So... Yeah. I'd give it a big maybe. If that's actually how it all happened, they probably would have found whatever infected his ROM way before you showed up here to bother me. Okay. Could it have just been faulty parts? 
Not to be too blunt about it, but this field of expertise is a little disreputable. Maybe your supplier sent you an implant with something fishy preloaded. Damn it. Look, I get it. I'm working out of an old auto garage on the bad side of town. Uh-huh. But I'm a fully licensed cyber surgery tech. This entire business is legitimate. Oh, really? It isn't illegal to install custom parts or firmware in any current generation implants. It just breaks the warranty. My business keeps a low profile so we don't run into bogus patent infringement lawsuits from Flower Cybernetics or whatever shell company they decide to come after you with. Yeah. All of my that parts makes sense. are sourced direct from the original manufacturer. Completely above board. Great. So if they're bad, they were built bad by the factory. Well then. Now, is that all? I have appointments to keep. Thank you for your time. Yeah, whatever. You may not know this, but I have a finely tuned sense of electromagnetic fields. All ROMs do. Okay then. We what does that mean? We need to maintain optical contact with the mesh, catalog <coughs> and use various wireless transmissions, and avoid areas with dangerously high interference. Okay then, yeah. Your stock off-the-shelf ROM has very little command over the frequencies available to be scanned. Where are you going with this, Turing? I just don't... But I'm starting to realize how very little of me is stock or off-the-shelf after uh -huh. the changes Hayden made. Probably not a lot. That means when the humidity is low, the air fairly sings for me, amongst other things. Well, that's... that's neat. I'm glad it does that for you. I'm, I'm not getting your point, though. Meaning, in layman's terms, I could read his monitor over his shoulder while being across the room. Wow. You can read monitors without actually seeing them? Well, some. I doubt I could have handled an LCD monitor. They require extra parts I just don't have. And the fidelity is a bit low. Yeah. Anyways, Nanya looked up his client records on Charlie, and I got some of the names of his other customers off of the spreadsheet. Oh, nice. One in particular stands out. Shotaro Otsuka. Okay, then. Um... What's the relevance? Mr. Otsuka is a moderately prominent tech blogger, respected, perhaps a bit vitriolic. Okay. He catches my attention, though, because historically he has been very critical of Parallax in his posts. Yeah, yeah, okay. Recently, though, the tone has been increasingly moderate, and now he is almost effusive in his praise. Interesting. His fans are accusing him of shilling for the company, but many of his earliest posts show some of the same manipulations that we saw from Augmented Eye and Nova's blog. Oh. Now, it's like he's being ghostwritten entirely. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Lead the way then. I've marked the location of Shotaro Otsuka's apartment on your map. Cool. We will head there. After you. Yep. This is the building. Cool. Mr. Otsuka must do well for himself, considering the neighborhood. Yeah, looks nice. Not the priciest section of Neo SF, but nice enough for a self-employed tech blogger. Sure, sure. Perhaps we should just ring the bell? Yeah, let's do that. We both know it won't be that easy, but it's important to maintain some courtesies. Right. Greetings, guests. I am LJ2, Shotaro Otsuka's ROM. Shotaro was not expecting any company at this hour, but I will let him know you are here. Great. Sorry for the wait. Please hold on for just a moment while I fetch him. No problem, LJ2. Mm, that's encouraging. Yeah. Uh, dot dot dot. That was odd. Maybe try the bell again. Yeah, okay. Greetings, guests. 
I am LJ2. Shataro... Shataro was not expecting any company. Uh -huh. Sorry for the wait. Again? What is taking so long? Yeah. Uh, once more. All right. Third. Yeah, third once time's a charm. Feeling. Once more with feeling. Here we go. Greetings, guests. Just like Turing no said. Shataro Otsuka's wrong. Shataro was not expecting any company at this hour, but I will let him know you are here. Sorry for the wait. Please hold on for just a moment while I fetch him. Ah! Why can't this ever be easy? I swear I'll blow out a fuse before... Thank well. Hayden for system redundancies. Well, that's that. Let's see if we can find a way into Mr. Otsuka's apartment ourselves. There's Sky. Hey, what's up, Sky? You weren't prepared for the weather, huh? I Your guess not. looks fancy enough to keep track of that. Gorgeous window there. We got a tree here. Use the palm tree. Talk to it. What's shaking, tree? Another tree. Ah, here's a fire escape. There we go. Mr. Otsuka's apartment is on the second floor. Let's take the fire escape. The fire escape should give us access to his window. Should. We just need something to let us reach it. Let's give it a shot. I'm sure there's some piece of detritus or loose end laying around we could use. Oh, that's how these things always work. Uh, there's a piece of something that we could use to pull it down. Put palm in the palm. How do we reach that? I don't know. Do we use a window somehow? You weren't prepared for the weather. About that. Yeah. You want my umbrella? Yes, yes, yes. Not for the weather. We need to use the hook handle to reach the fire escape ladder so we can pull it down. Perfect. Oh, if you live here and lost your key card, huh? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I totally understand. I do that all the time. Mm hmm But look, as much as I'd love to give you this umbrella, I'm kind of using it right now. Where I come from, see, we're all about equal trades. It's part of our culture. Okay, then. Jim, culture? Sorry, but unless you've got anything interesting to exchange for it, I'm gonna hold on to this. Can I exchange these dumb, dumb Don't headphones? Don't wanna get wet. <coughs> these are pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm not big into music. I like video games more. There's no mic- Oh, okay, then. Um... A zapper. Whoa! Calm down! Calm down! I'll give you the umbrella. What? Well, we weren't going to shoot you. I was offering you oh. it as a trade. Then you can't have it. Okay. Um. For sure. For Those the guys end. are gross. Oh, you're not? Then what? Okay. Um. How about this business card? Hey, is this real? The real Yannick? Yeah. You know him? Of course I do. 
He's one of the most innovative tech minds of the last few generations. Okay, great then. Give me the umbrella. Can I please have this? Absolutely. I'll give you the umbrella. Sure. If you want. No problem. Yep, you take it. I think it's a fair trade. Absolutely. Totally fair trade. Thanks. Here you go. All right. Cool. Got the umbrella. This is so exciting. I'm gonna go call him right now. Nice. Have fun. Cool. Call him. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. Oh well. Now we have our tool and <laughs> we're pretty spiffy oh well. at that. Let's go. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull down that ladder on the next episode. So uh, see you next time. And